there's an open source medical device group that started um, essentially in response to the shortage of um, you know PPE or the the protective equipment that healthcare professionals um, need. Generators doing face shields because we have lasers. Print farms are better for masks. So we're making masks that are able to be uh, reused, uh, sterilized, and extends the life of the N95 mask. It also works with different filters. Missing a couple things like uh, a flow cell, Neo cream or Santo cream. Super cheap, super durable. So this design is being uh, approved by the, the national group. One concern with droplets, but with better pictures, they can determine that it will be safe, uh, the materials, etc. These are what the Prusa team designed, and uh, there's a version of this plastic that pops onto here so that you can have just face shields and these separate. Right now, they just want disposables, um, but this is this is being made and approved with like supply chains being broken. It kind of made sense that these lasers could be put into better use because we're able to prototype quickly and because we're able to iterate with all the tools we have here. That's how I got involved. It's a generator. Oh yeah. This place has trained me to do this. I've learned to work with many, many different materials. I'm basically a materials engineer without even knowing I am. <laughs> Thinking on my feet quick, I'm the most rapid prototyper I know. I didn't think I could do this, but you've been training a generator this entire time to be responsive and help my community out. And my community just got really big. That's what we do. We meet the needs, especially when they're good ones.